This is an autopsy of the components I've been using with the tungsten super shot number 9 24 grams in the 20 gauge I'm using the Winchester AA 28 gram target loads with the AA case and an 8 star crib I fired them and reloaded them using the standard shotgun primers Ballistic products, two and three quarter TPS wads and two Teflon wraps. The buffer I use is pearl barley. We'll have a look at the components after firing. The main thing I'm looking for is evidence that the tungsten shot has not penetrated the wads and damaged the chamber or the bore. So before firing, I have a wad that looks like this. <coughs> Deprime it, put a new primer in there. This is the Ballistic Products TPS, they're designed for tungsten super shot and still shot. Very, very strong, thick wad. It's not slick, so I have to get a special pair of scissors and I cut down to uh, probably about 5mm off the bottom, which is uh, in line with uh, where it's um, uh, not ribbed, and that's probably about 5mm off the the uh, gas seal there and I cut it into four you can see the the ribbing has a, um, a line going down there so I cut one down there and I cut one slit down there so that cuts in half and then I just eyeball it and cut it there and there on the other side and that takes in the quarters then I use the ballistic products Teflon sheets I have to cut about five mil off the top there so that I can star crimp these and I put them in like so and I'll put another one in there like just roll that around like that and uh, just put that in there as well like that it's Teflon so it uh, slips in nice and easy and um, it should protect the tungsten super shot from getting outside the slits and scoring your chamber or your barrel. Once I fill it up with 24 grams I then put, um, I'm using uh, pearl barley as a filler and that actually compresses quite nice as you can see there uh, get a really good crimp on that so no problems there and that's what they look like after they're fired. I've been replaying the footage from my shot cam Gen 4 and I've managed to pick up a couple of wads after they fired so you can see here um, the petals have come back quite good so it's allowing the shot to open up you can see there that you've got one number nine shot embedded at the bottom and uh, here slightly deformed I think that was might have trod on that but anyway that's fine so in general most of the shot is not embedded at the bottom sometimes you can get three or four of these small pellets embedded at the bottom so that's good now when I examine the wad pedals I cannot see any penetration of the pedals by the tungsten super shot but I can see some minor indentations from the shot I have to cut the third rib from the top so I can crimp the case and that's why I cut five millimeters off the Teflon wraps so they match the top of the wad you see it's a little bit rough there that's alright when I fire the shot shells I can see the Teflon wraps come out in pieces a metre or so in front of the barrel the Teflon is being ripped apart quite violently. The Teflon is indented and almost crazed, making it a lot stiffer than when it was new. Even with all that Teflon ripping, we aren't seeing any holes in the wad pedals, which I think is a pretty good sign the tungsten isn't penetrating. 
Here you can see the Teflon rip into several pieces in front of the barrel. So in summary, I'm saying my current methodology of cutting down right to the base of the ribbing, probably about five odd mil off the gas seal, cutting it into quarters, putting two Teflon wraps in there, filling it up with 24 grams and then putting a buffer in there of pearl barley and then star doing an eight star crimp on it. Uh, it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, you have to really see this tungsten super shot to understand how much better it kills than lead. And this 24 gram load has 318 pellets of number 9 shot. So you fire anything out to 50 metres, um, rabbit size or bigger, uh, there's going to be a lot of pellets on target. And you really have to see tungsten to understand how much better it penetrates, uh, even with the small shot.